What's up, everybody? Jacob here, JK Productions. Obviously, we're here to talk about Derek Carr. He just moved to the New Orleans Saints to be their new franchise quarterback, passing on teams like the New York Jets, possibly the Tennessee Titans, the Miami Dolphins, all teams that could have been looking for quarterbacks this year. He elects to go to the New Orleans Saints, and this is a move that definitely surprised me at first. Uh, defensive head coach, uh, the offense was very middle of the road last year. Andy Dalton, for give him credit, he actually did a decent job for the offense that he was handed. For some reason, they just refused to utilize Alvin Kamara to his full potential. Uh, but it was a, <clears throat> a middle of the road offense. wasn't great, wasn't horrible. Uh, they were like bottom 10 or 12 in scoring, so they could move the ball a bit, but they really just couldn't get the ball in the end zone. Uh, but Derek Carr, the new franchise quarterback for the New Orleans Saints, and begs the question, are they now the favorites to win the NFC South? So, obviously, the first thing to think about is the fact that Tom Brady no longer in the division. The the biggest roadblock for any team in that division, which was certainly the worst division in football last year. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers just scraped themselves into the playoffs and then got quickly dispatched by the Dallas Cowboys. Tom Brady and that team was the biggest issue for any team in the NFC South last year. He's now completely out of the picture. He is he is no longer a factor, so that all three teams besides the Buccaneers now have a chance to go out and better themselves and, you know, Make you run at that spot in the playoffs. And then now you look at what the Saints have. And then it starts to make sense why Derek Carr chose them. So they have a pretty good receiving core. Uh, Chris Olave, Michael, uh, Michael Thomas. They have Alvin Kamara, Taysom Hill. Uh, and a really good defense on the other side. Top five defense uh, coming out of last year. Uh, the biggest question mark for the team as a whole is really what's going to happen with Alvin Kamara so he's obviously got the legal issues with the, uh, the fight he got into in Las Vegas last year during the Pro Bowl. What's his availability going to look like? Is he going to be suspended four, six, eight, ten games the entire season? Probably not the entire season, but that is just a very legitimate question uh, to be asked if you're Derek Carr and the team. What is my best player on offense going to be doing for the majority of the season? Is he going to be on the field or is he going to be suspended? That's something that we as NFL fans and even Derek Carr uh, is impossible to know what what's actually going to be happening with that but I actually think it makes a decent amount of sense for for Derek Carr to choose his team so for one you have stability you have a stable ownership group that uh they never built they, they never bought into the real rebuilding process they never really bought into a tanking job uh they never gave up on the team they continue to keep their assets they refuse to trade players like Alvin Kamara uh, refuse to trade players like uh, on the defensive side, Cam Jordan, Tyron Matthew, Marshawn Lattimore. They have a very solid defense on the other side. And now they just need an offense that can go out and put up points and keep up with the other teams. And when you have, when you're in a, a, a division like the NFC South is currently looking at, you don't have to score a lot of points. You really don't every single week. You get seven games a week against some pretty bad teams. And I'm going to be making some videos this week to talk about at least one other NFC South team, maybe a second team, about what they can do to, to better themselves going into next season. But he has the weapons. He did lose, uh, or they did lose, uh, Teron Armstead to the Miami Dolphins last year. Uh, so the offensive line isn't as good as it once been, but still a pretty good offensive line. It's a it's a strong roster, and I outside of head coach, there's not really a lot of issues I have with this team. I don't know. I don't like defensive-minded head coaches. They, they usually scare me. They, they put a cap on the team because they put a cap on the offense. Uh, and that's what we saw last year uh, with, with, the, with the New Orleans Saints. But Derek Carr coming in there, I, I, I'm a Dolphins fan. I wanted the Dolphins to at least kick the tires on, on bringing Derek Carr in uh, to replace Tua. Uh, I think he provides leadership. I think he has a really good arm. I, I really love how he handled that uh, that's two years ago now, that season where he loses Henry Ruggs, he loses his head coach, he loses uh, his first-round pick from a couple years back, all to just crazy circumstances that you would never see coming going into the season. Uh, the way he rode the ship, had his best season statistically of his career, made the, made the playoffs, didn't win a game, but losing to the eventual a AFC representative in the Super Bowl at their house is not a small task. It's not something to, to scoff at, to bat your eyes, that he showed such great leadership, such poise, and now he's going into a, a division that he should win. Look at the quarterbacks around. Carolina, God knows who their quarterback's going to be. Sam Darnold's a free agent. That's actually something that I might look into uh, the next coming days. Atlanta, who's their quarterback? Nobody 
No, none of the other three teams have any sort of idea what their quarterback is going to be looking like. The Atlanta Falcons just let go of Marcus Mariota. They have Desmond Ritter. Does anybody believe in Desmond Ritter? The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they have Kyle Trask on the roster. Does anybody believe Kyle Trask is genuinely going to be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers starting quarterback week one? And if he is, is anybody concerned about that? If I'm a Saints fan, I'm certainly not. So you beat everybody to the punch in the division. You have your starting quarterback. You have a defense on the other side that is capable of being a top five defense going to next year. If everybody's on the field, you have really one of the better offenses. You have a very versatile player in both Alvin Kamara and Taysom Hill that they can both do so much at their positions. Michael Thomas, cross your fingers, he's healthy and, and can come out and produce. Uh, Marcus Calloway, I believe he's, I don't, maybe he's a free agent, I'm not sure. And they're not really losing that many guys uh, due to free agency. Did I have a tab open for that? No, I do not. Oh, well. Uh, they're not losing a lot of guys. They're losing like Jarvis Landry, but that defense is still staying, staying put together. Tyron Matthew, Cam Jordan, Marcus Lattimore, and they're going to continue to build. They don't have a first-round pick. They gave it to the Philadelphia Eagles, so that does make things a little bit more difficult. But they have a clear head start on the rest of the division. Good ownership, good enough coaching. We'll see how that ends up going. Now you have your quarterback. You look around at the rest of the division, there is nothing going on there. And I'm looking at it from Derek Carr's perspective, maybe he did make the right decision. There's there's other places he could have gone for sure, like the New York Jets. The New York Jets were out making outlandish claims saying that they're going to make him a, a first a first ballot Hall of Famer. They're going to win a Super Bowl with him. That just sounds like a lot of talk. I don't know. I don't believe the Jets to be a team that holds up to their talk. They, they're the team that hasn't made the playoffs in the longest could have gone to Washington they have three good wide receivers but then you have to go against the Eagles twice a year the Giants the Cowboys twice a year you're coming to a very easy division with a very winnable roster that day one you can compete to win the division the conference as a whole is relatively weak who's the best quarterback in the NFC now Jalen Hurts probably for sure but after Jalen Hurts Kyler Murray Daniel Jones Dak Prescott Derek Carr, honestly, out of those bunch, I trust Derek Carr the most. Derek Carr might very well be. Aaron Rodgers is still in the conference for now, but I do expect him to possibly even go to where Derek Carr just came from with the Las Vegas Raiders. I don't expect him to be staying in the conference, but he's there for now. So assuming he gets moved, Derek Carr very very well might be the second best quarterback in the conference. And if you have that, you have a team that can go far. You have a team that can get to the Super Bowl. I feel great if, if my team wakes up and we have the second best team in our conference. Again, being a Dolphins fan, the AFC, if I was able to say that, whew, I feel good. But obviously we don't. Uh, but Derek Carr to, to the New Orleans Saints. If you're a Saints fan, let me know what you're thinking down below because I think this is a fantastic move for you guys. Uh, your offense just got better. You've got a leader, someone who has a really good arm, someone who is very underrated in terms of his accuracy. Again, scouting him as a Dolphins fan, uh, one thing people have said to knock him is he isn't as accurate. Well, his best accuracy season was 68%. To his best accuracy season, accuracy season was 67%. So there we go. That was, and that was just two years ago. He's got the arm, he's accurate, he's a leader, he's got everything really, he's not most, not really mobile, but he's got really everything you want in a quarterback. So maybe he did just make the right decision. Did he? Let me know down in the comments below. If you're a Saints fan, are you happy about the move? Are you sad about the move for whatever reason? Let me know down below. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Again, we'll probably be making a, a Panthers or looking around the rest of the NFC South later this week. So uh, make sure you look out for that. Make sure to like, subscribe. Make sure you have a great rest of your day. Take care, everybody.